anime is no stranger to being weird. From old man German suplexing deer, to piloting mechs by riding in the cockpit doggy style, to whatever the hell the context for this is supposed to be, anime is chock full of moments that make you go WTF. However, they say not to judge a book by its cover, and this is even true when it comes to anime. For instance, what if I told you that an anime where a couple of kids swap spit is actually a really cute, underrated romance gem? Believe it or not, this is true. So today, allow me to introduce you to Mysterious Girlfriend X. Mysterious Girlfriend X, or as that is known in Japan, Nazo no Kanoju Ekus, is a 13 episode anime revolving around the peculiar relationship of Akira Tsubaki and his girlfriend. The series begins when a strange girl named Makoto Uribe transfers to Tsubaki's school and begins to sit next to him in class. Though she's quite a strange girl, what with bangs that cover her eyes at all times, her tendency to sleep during class instead of socializing, and her sudden unexplained fits of laughter, Tsubaki becomes instantly infatuated with her upon waking her up one day after school and seeing her face for the first time. Curious to see what the little pool of drool she has left behind on her desk tastes like. Yeah, just fault, just go with it. Tsubaki indeed tastes some and finds that it is very sweet. This, however, leads to Tsubaki feeling very ill not too much later. Urabe explains that the illness he is feeling is love sickness and that he is now addicted to her drool, needing to consume her drool daily in order to not go through withdrawal. Needless to say, the two form a daily routine in which she shares her drool with him, and oddly enough, this soon turns into an actual relationship. With the drool bond actually being a quite supernatural thing, through which the two can share stuff such as emotions and thoughts with one another, over the course of the series, we get to see how their relationship progresses and the odd bond that comes out of this so-called drool attachment. So yeah, if you're still with me, this anime is a weird one. However, with that being said, believe it or not, I would actually say that this is a very interesting anime with a lot of positives going for it. For starters, let's talk about the whole drool bond thing anyway. Well, at first it seems super bizarre and like you've stumbled into some strange fetish. It actually serves a really cool purpose in the story. As I briefly touched upon as I was describing the plot of the series, the drool bond is a supernatural thing through which Tsubaki and Urabe can share stuff such as emotions and thoughts with one another. I hope to not get too spoilery, but for example, when in one episode Tsubaki has a dirty dream about Urabe and is kind of shy to describe it to her, Urabe is able to see what his dream was by his drool. Meanwhile, in another episode where Urabe accompanies Tsubaki to his mother's grave, in order to be able to understand how he is feeling at the moment, the two exchanged rule, resulting in the both of them shedding tears, as they experience the pain of loss together. While definitely a very strange concept, it actually works quite well and is a pretty unique way of showing intimacy in the romantic relationship. Speaking of which, another positive for me was the romance. While many romance anime are either full of annoying cliches or rely on a very strict formula, Mysterious Girlfriend X does not. From whether or not to make the romance public, or how to advance their physical relationship, or issues of jealousy, the way the show brings up issues, as well as how it portrays the two main characters dealing with being in a relationship, always feels fairly authentic. Just like in real life, the relationship between Urabe and Tsubaki has its ups and downs, but grow stronger as both learn to deal with their different personalities as well as consider their partner's desires, hopes, and feelings. Not only that, but unlike other anime where the main couple dances around a bunch of dumb misunderstandings for 13 episodes, the relationship here feels clear from the very start, and by the end, it feels like real progress has been made. Though the progress may not go exactly as some people would like, just like in real life, the characters are going at the pace that best suits them. That, of course, brings me to the two main characters. I hate when characters are one-dimensional and consist of nothing but stereotypes, but luckily, Tsubaki and Urabe are not. When it comes to Urabe, just as the title states, she is indeed a very mysterious girl. 
I mean, antisocial, has deadly precision with a pair of scissors, knows a lot about magic spit. Weird. And yet, at the same time, there's also much more to her than that. While yes, she's aloof, dislikes physical contact, and doesn't seem to care for social norms, she's also warm, caring, and a normal girl who gets embarrassed in front of crowds or giddy when her boyfriend compliments her. Likewise, Tsubaki may seem like your average, clumsy, awkward romance lead, but he's far more relatable than that. While yes, he's fairly normal and can be somewhat timid and indirect in nature, he's also very romantic, with most of his thoughts revolving around how to get closer to his girlfriend Urebe. He actually wants to get more physically intimate with his girlfriend, compared to other anime protagonists, and is understandably frustrated by Urebe's reluctance. While it would have been easy to make Urebe some weird tsundere always attacking her boyfriend, and Tsubaki some doormat that's afraid to even hold his girlfriend's hand, I like that the characters instead feel like real teenagers with more complexity than that. Now, when it comes to negatives, I don't have too much to say, but I'll just throw these out there. For one, I know there will be some people who probably still can't get over the whole drool thing. Trust me, as someone who watched the whole thing, I still myself find it pretty weird too. If it puts into perspective though, it's not like people don't swap spit when they French kiss, you know? But hey, if that makes you not want to see the show, I guess I kind of can't blame you. Another negative would be the progress of the relationship. While well, I still think that the two main characters go through a lot and grow as a couple, if you're one of those people who feel that romance anime take things too slow, then this might be one for you to skip. Finally, Another thing that could be seen as a negative could be that some stuff is never really explained. Personally, ambiguity doesn't bother me, and I'm fine if some things just stay a mystery, but if you're the kind of person that wants everything spelled out for you by the end, then this one isn't for you either. All in all though, I think that this anime is a really great one, and definitely something of a hidden gem. While it has a premise that can easily turn people away, I think that if you stick with it, you will be pleasantly surprised. Filled with some interesting characters, a cute romance, a pretty unique concept, and even some top-notch music and visual symbolism, I recommend it highly. But hey, that's just my opinion. And remember, don't take anything I say too seriously. After all, I'm just a wannabe reviewer. Thanks for watching.